Get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Start my day. Wake up, get up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. No more. Huh. All right, you guys, so I'll bring you back later. We are going to enjoy 4th of July. My son's coming over with my grandkids, my daughter-in-law, and we are going to have some fireworks. We have the skid loader for fire breaks, which we, everything's dead over at the barn. That's where we're going to let those off. And a 500-gallon water tank with the fire hose on it to put anything out if it gets started. So, um... We are going to let some fireworks off and enjoy the 4th of July and our independence. And uh, I hope that you are too and that you're also staying safe. Good morning, my friends. Do you hear the ducks? So what we've been doing is bringing them inside for the evening and they come into uh, my garage that's here in the RV. They're very stinky. So we try to get them out super early in the morning. But we gotta wait for it to warm up a little bit. So, and then we add more wood chips. So uh, we're gonna get that taken care of and then get started on the day. You getting them? Yeah. And Kira gets very distracted because they're cute. I like it when they nibble on my hands. <laughs> so these tubs have worked really well, but they are outgrowing them, so we are going to have to figure out uh, of what to do. Right now we're using the cedar chips because we ran out of the pine. But basically, we just add a fresh new layer. So that they're not walking around ruining their poop. <laughs> Don't eat the wood chips. Just add, which they're all afraid of. Now these guys are almost big enough to fly. Came to say good morning to us. Hi, Gracie. Good morning. Good morning, Gracie. Where's Allegra? Where's your buddy? They are doing so well. 
Good morning. Are you ready for your breakfast? You're just trying to, you're done? See ya? That's kind of strange. Normally they're always together. Okay, so I'm following Gracie and we're looking for Allegra. Because normally these two are right together. And we did have 4th of July. So I am getting a little bit worried. Good morning. Good morning, girlies. Good morning. So got to figure out a way to get Allegra her pain medication. Um, we don't want Gracie to have it. And we've been giving it to her, Jennifer's been giving it to her in her grain. And I don't really have a setup here to be able to separate them and give her her grain. So we've got to figure that out. I can see that she's not feeling really well. She's kind of back to walking a little bit wonky and holding her head a little bit low. Um, so that's probably why she did not come around with Gracie this morning. Uh, but she does appear to be fine. We just need to get her back into getting those pain meds. Let's give a tomato ripening update. Ooh, it's looking pretty good. And I have not forgotten about the chicken coop build. We will get back to that, I promise. This is the easy part. <laughs> Up that hill is hard. <sighs> Okay, so what we're trying to do is work a couple of hours, or at least an hour in the garden. <laughs> that was a hard hill. And then we're gonna turn to um, prepping for Kira's cabin. So we need to get some cardboard to put down. That sounded as vicious as morning. We get the cardboard to put down so that our weeds don't try to take over the world in here. And then we'll put this dirt in. So these things we got from church. They were throwing them away. These little frames are going to be perfect for another project. But they all came with cardboard. Yes, there's a little bit of paint on them. This whole situation is not ideal. We can call it that, the not ideal garden. <laughs> so even though we don't have the skid loader and that's making this take a lot longer, this wagon is doing a great job. And we're gonna just use the tools that we have to get done what we need to get done. So I'm putting my peppers in the ground. Oh, there are two plants in here and they're both giving fruit. These are what I bought. This is a sweet pepper. Yummy. I don't do spicy. Again, the dirt's not ideal, but it's what we got and it's what we're going with. Uh, so I want to get these two guys in the ground because you can see that the plant is definitely very stressed. Um, and I think it's time for it to get out of this pot. I think it was time a long time ago to get out of this pot. Uh, this is 54 days to harvest. Rated pretty well. 
Now we just have to see what kind of shock the plant goes into. And again, both of these have some fruit on them already. That plant's a little bit bigger than this one. I'll be picking up some good composting soil um, tomorrow and that will go in on these and we'll get them super fertilized. And hopefully they do as well as the tomato plant did. Can't wait for baby watermelons. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> so comment below and let me know what your favorite summertime breakfast is. I have been trying to do keto, but I dehydrate so badly that I crave uh, watermelon, um, cantaloupes, just fruit, fruit that has a lot of water in it uh, so that I stay hydrated all summer long. So that's kind of my go-to uh, is fruit bowls, that kind of thing. In the wintertime, total different story. But in the summertime, there's not much better than a good, sweet watermelon. Okay, so I planted a whole bunch of sweet peppers here. We are going to have to get another container for the ducks. Split up the herd, <laughs> flock. But these guys are starting to fly a little bit. And these guys, their little quilly quills are starting to come in. And... <laughs> little scaredies. Are you talking smack? Maybe that's what the dogs were losing their minds about. One of these things is not like the others. <laughs> right. So the free chicken that they give you is not the same as all the others that you get. But that one sure is pretty. Unfortunately, if it ends up being a rooster, we will not keep it. What's the matter? Little baby ducky. He's <laughs> making a run for it. My little duck parrot. Chloe, did you dig a hole? Did you dig that hole? Where are you trying to go? With the hole to China. Bad, bad doggies. Did you dig the hole? Did you do it? Did you do it? <laughs> okay, so what we're doing now is we're unloading a bunch of stuff that I had in the RV into the shipping container so that we can run to Home Depot and pick up a load of materials to build Kira's cabin. So I have gotten a couple of uh, messages on whether or not I was gonna get on the sawmill. And what I've been waiting for are my saw blades. But, come to find out, I ordered the wrong ones. Dang it. But the guy at Windmiser called me and let me know that I could use these. They just weren't good ones. And he is sending me uh, a couple more. But, FYI, if you own a sawmill, blades are taking 8 to 10 weeks to get in. So I don't know if we're going to do milling this year. It really bums me out. <laughs>
first store of the day. Boop. So we're here at North 40. We need to look at their fencing and oops, sorry, pick up some wood chips for the birds. Not our aisle. We need to go outside. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Hmm. Ding! Now we know how that dog feels when he tries to go through the doggy door with a stick. Right. <laughs> it feels exactly like this. <laughs> Here's our helper. Subscribe to whoever this is. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Alright, so we have our wood chips. We have our fencing. We're gonna get started on this after we go to Home Depot. All right, get these loaded up in the truck. <laughs> Dude, quit getting tangled with one another. <laughs> they don't want to leave each other. <laughs> All right, Aunt Heather, I'm giving you the most heaviest job. Oh, <laughs> dang. <laughs> okay, you guys, we made it to Home Depot. And if you have been following our journey, we're building Kara a cabin or a bedroom <laughs> temporary for this winter for her and her cat. If you have not been following our journey, I am uh, building an off-grid homestead in Northern Idaho and make sure that you subscribe, like the guy over there said. <laughs> and comment if you have any help or suggestions uh, that you think we need to know, and uh, follow along the journey. And okay, so a couple of things that we definitely need is some drywall. I don't know if we're gonna get that on this trip, but we will, <laughs> she says no. Uh, but we will be picking that up, and they have quite a bit, so that's really cool. We do need to get some plywood, and some siding, uh, so we may be in shock after this and need ice cream or something, I don't know. <laughs> you guys, this is literally why I bought a sawmill. And this was last year before we knew it was being going to be insane. Jeez. I found her. We're going with those, which is these, which you guys have now seen before me. Haha. <laughs> and they have enough. And we need ten and that can get her cabin sighted. It is a 10 by 10 on the outside, nine by nine on the inside.
<laughs> no, we need like a whole bunch of more plywood. <laughs> Kira's off to get a helper because we found that. Ah. Underlayment. That's the only place that it is. So we have to have them help us get it down. So we got all these loaded. There's three ways to get help from a Home Depot employee. One, you go ask. Two, they randomly follow, uh, they randomly come up to you because you look dazed and confused. Three, you start climbing. So comment below if you think Kira should start climbing. All right, Dad, there's a fourth option. I'm gonna go kidnap somebody. It's official, my foot is sore from all this walking around. Okay. Okay, so I went to go kidnap somebody like I normally do because I'm a good Samaritan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just found out that um, the person that's supposed to come help us is with two customers and every branch or whatever it's called in Home Depot is backed because there's no one's at right now. So what we're doing is, that means we're climbing. <laughs> that means we possibly live here now. <laughs> oh, we could, build a, we could build a whole house with all this stuff. <laughs> I'm sure we could build a mansion. Maybe not a mansion. <laughs> you think we could get a mansion out of it? Yes. We could at least get a little cabin. <laughs> Alright, so basically we're going to hang out here. We did not bring snacks. We did not bring a drink. We didn't bring anything. We just brought you guys. So, we're going to hang out here, not bore you. Um, but also remember, if you uh, are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we put out new videos. We are beginning to put out videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, and now that I've said it, we really have to do it, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> I didn't say it was fault. I just said it was all you. I can't do nothing about it because I don't do electronics. I'm the muscle. That's true. You are the muscle. Okay. Build your house, they said. DIY it. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Who knew that we would basically live in Home Depot? <laughs> you guys, we're being held hostage by Home Depot. <laughs> and that's actually quite true. Happy birthday! Okay, now we're down to some house wrap. Ten foot tall. No, it's not 10 foot tall. It's 8 foot tall. <laughs> House wrap. It is extremely important for you to be very serious when you're building your house. There will be no shenanigans. I'd like you to know my hat looks fabulous. I think her middle name is Shenanigans. Okay. So we extremely ladylike and gracefully uh, loaded the truck. <laughs> And if you believe that, put a thumbs up. <laughs> I can and the comment end. below. <laughs> it was mildly acrobatic. 